babies it's joining Yvonne and welcome back to my channel so today I have another hair tutorial for you guys and it is on these twists these jumbo twists Marley twists Havana twists whatever kind of twists you want to call it now as always you know I'm gonna be completely 100% honest with you guys I was really surprised how much I loved my hair when I was done and really quickly I'm gonna tell you why I was always really hesitant on buying the packs of hair that were already twisted or braided or pre-made locks or whatever you want to call it because I just I really like for my hair to look as natural as possible even though it is extensions and all that but I'd like for them to look as natural as I can as I can get for me when I would see other girls with the hair it wouldn't look natural to me I don't know if it's just the hair that I use like since they are twists or and because they're big or the brand or whatever it is but the older they get the more natural they look and so some background on this hair I used almost four packs I used about a little over three and a half packs and each pack of hair I believe were like five dollars six dollars so it's really really inexpensive really really easy it took me two hours <laughs> two hours to do my hair that is it this is probably outside of like you know just doing my own hair as far as fake hair and extensions go outside of a wig this is the fastest i have ever done my hair in my life <laughs> and i am so completely hair for it so now that I gave you guys a little bit of information, I'm just going to jump right into the video. Make sure you give this video a like if you like it and make sure you subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment below. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. I didn't show you that part, but my hair is freshly washed and I just let it air dry and just combed it out. So I did the majority of my hair, obviously. I'm just, you know, filming this part to show you guys what I did. So you're going to take a comb and you're going to part off the section. I didn't, like, make perfect boxes all over my head. Just the front, really, to be honest. The rest of it, I just kind of parted with my fingers just to go faster. And I'm using my Eco Styler Gel just to kind of lay down my edges as I make a twist. So now that I have my twist, I'm going to take the big twist and attach that to my hair. As you can see, it has a loop on the end, so we're going to use that to put the crochet needle on. So I'm taking the crochet needle and I'm putting it through the side of the base of my twist. And I'm opening the latch and I'm going to attach the twist to the latch, close the latch, and pull it through. Now this can be a little bit tricky if you're doing it for the first time, but once you get the hang of it, it moves really, really fast. And I'm taking the end of it and I'm just gonna pull it through the loop from the top. When you get it to the top, make sure you tighten it so that you can secure the twist. So now I'm just gonna show you what I did once again, just in case you didn't get it the first time. I'm putting the needle through the base of my twist and I'm attaching the big twist, opening the latch, closing the latch, pulling it through. And then once I have it through, I'm opening the loop and I'm just going to take the bottom and pull it through and tighten it. Now with your twist that's exposed, all you're going to do is you're going to twist it right around with the big twist and tuck it into the hair. So if you can see what I'm doing, like you're just twisting and tucking, twisting and tucking. And I twisted my hair, my, my natural hair down instead of braiding it because I do have a twist so I wanted it to blend as easily as possible. And that is it you guys, like it's super easy super super easy so 
that is it. It's really easy, really quick, really inexpensive. Did I say it was easy? Girl. Easy. E Z. Okay. I haven't worn my hair in twists like this since college and I'm really in love with it all over again. So I'll probably be doing this a lot more often to be honest. I plan on leaving my hair like this for about three weeks maybe ish maybe more I don't know I'll see how I feel but to stay updated with me and on my hair and all that good stuff make sure you follow me on Instagram and snapchat because I tell you guys a lot and I always answer your questions if you ask me questions so yeah make sure you check out any of my other videos that you might be interested in I'll leave some on the screen and I will see you guys next time bye